and I'm Austin. We are here to play games. With great anticipation. Yes. Welcome back to Lies of P. Uh, in the top corner, if this is your first time seeing the video, check out our playlist of this. If you want to start it from the beginning, we are near the end of the game at this point, but welcome. Yeah. Regardless. Yes, if your first time here and you don't care about narrative, uh, spoiler warning, I guess, but here we are. Yes, indeed. Uh, last time we learned some really interesting information. Mm -hmm. uh, one being that Ooh. the King of Puppets name is Romeo. By the way, there's snipers. Uh, you want to hang on the right side and kind of go up and across the bridge there. Thank you. I'm going to go get uh, fruit real quick and then I'll come right back. Man, no time for fruit. We got we got a Sophia to save. Yes, we sir. do. Yes, we do. But I'm going to go get fruit. <laughs> um. Anyway, so we learned something really interesting in that the King of Puppets was talking about how puppets are required to obey the creator. It's law zero of their, like, tenets. Mm -hmm. Right? So just like in the laws of robotics, there's the, you know, you must not harm a human, you must obey what a human tells you, yada, yada, yada. You must not cause human, or harm to a human, all of that. Yeah. Right. Um... And to that extent, puppets can't lie, which is what makes P here, or Carlo, as we are beginning to understand is his name. Sort um, of, yeah. <laughs> sort of, yeah. Uh, unique. Mm-hmm. So... Carlo's successor. All, yeah, I, the inheritor of Carlo's soul? Mm-hmm. Question mark? Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so all that to say is, we hear this message... Um, that was received, or that uh, Vanini was able to pick up using a special device, but he couldn't make out all of the message where we could. And so the King of Puppets was saying, Law Zero is that puppets must obey the Creator. And the implication being that that supersedes any other law. So if the Creator gives a command that contradicts any of the, the other three laws that they have to obey, uh, it ignores those other laws. Right. Because it has a higher priority. Zero priority, yeah. Right. Um, Lower the number, the higher the priority kind of thing. Right. <laughs> you alright over there? Oh, I just, I'm amused by the fact that he got hit by a bullet. Ah, uh, yes. He looks awful. Um... And the creator of the puppets, surprise is surprise, uh, is Geppetto. Shocking! It's, right, which like, I think we all assumed Geppetto was the creator to some degree. Um, <clears throat> but because of that, it's implied or maybe even explicitly stated that the reason the puppets went on a frenzy is because of Geppetto. Yeah, I, I'd say it's implied at this point, but... Oh yeah, use the badge. Right, yeah, so it's not necessarily explicit, but... Did he lose control of it? Did uh, he <laughs> unintentionally cause the problem? Did he intentionally cause it? You know? Right, well, so if we it's have a command questions. from the creator... Right. <laughs> Geppetto has some answers he needs to give, right. for sure. We're gonna demand an explanation from old Geppetto. Okay. All right. So we'll bridge uh, here. We're going to cross a large bridge guarded by two scorpion beasts. Oh, boy. I know, right? It's so exciting. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of answers. And screw that light <clears throat> fixture in particular. Got yeah, we also saw a little bit of what we believe to be Peas and Romeo by extension, their memories. Mm hmm. Uh, it seemed that what happened to Carlo ah. was that he wanted to become a stalker, and for one reason or another, uh, ended up in danger and did not survive. Was struck down by maybe a monster or something. Yeah, something bad happened to him. Ah, All right, no! He, and he died. So... 
Yeah. It worked out. So that's that's why we're running off the um, assumption that Carlo has, is inhabiting P here to some degree. Yeah. P was made of the remnants of his soul or some, some kind of transfusion or something. Inheritance. Right. Yeah, exactly. Not what I meant to do, but that's all right. That worked out. Uh, okay, so there's stuff there. There's stairs. I'm going to take the way that goes down first, I think. Okay. This looks like it's back the way I came a little bit, so this might be some extra stuff over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. little shortcut ladder. I'm going to get that item yeah. out of there in a second. Yep, yep, yep. Gonna have to keep climbing the scaffolding until we can take out those snipers being jerk faces to you, too. Yep. I'm not a big fan of the snipers. They're probably gonna punch you off of that. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Self fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> yep. I knew at the instant I picked it up. I'm like, oh, there's enough lag and enough you can't roll that it's going to hit that exact instant. It's uh, They designed it well. They designed it to do that. So, you know, I have only myself to blame, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ladder. Yeah, well, it's a good thing you got the ladder before you attempted to grab the very obviously trapped item. Yep. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. And so the other key thing that we learn is Sophia. The Sophia we've been dealing with up until now hasn't been her physical form. Uh, yeah. yeah. She's trapped in the abbey that we're currently in, like like the tallest tower in true uh, Save the Princess format. The princess is oh. in another castle. He. <laughs> right. Teehee? Did you just say tee? I said P, not Teehee. Oh, P. I thought you said Teehee. Teehee no, works just... too in that, in that particular scenario, I think. Yeah. <laughs> if there's one thing, if you play enough Souls games, you. Oh my god. Teleporting. Du <sighs> I swear, the makers of this game were like, let's make dogs that actually teleport instead of just. You know, that Souls dogs teleport. I'm just gonna put it that way. <laughs> it certainly feels like it, at least. Yeah, they will literally like despawn and respawn while they're coming after you. Yep. Hang on a second, guys. I need to deal with this idiot over here. There. There. Ah, no more sniping. Now that I'm all the way up here. Uh, yeah, but that's one less problem. Victory. So yeah, we've got lots of things to figure out. We're on our way to rescue Geppetto, which, you know, depending on his answers, may determine how we handle his rescue. Hmm, yep, that's true. Okay, nothing back here. We are in the final throws of the game. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun right here. Yeah, this is the two scorpion giant bridge. Wake up, evolve, ascend, greet the god who will soon resurrect from the top of the abbey. Oh, yeah, there's also that giant beam of light coming out of the top of the abbey, so who knows what's going on there. Yeah. A burst of ergo or something. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Suffice to say, Dan and I have been looking forward to seeing how this game ends because of how much intrigue has been introduced in the last few hours of the game. Agreed. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Man, that, their armor is just a real pain in the tuchus. Yes, it is. There you go. One down. <laughs> 163 to go. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
That's actually the final boss, is just a swarm of scorpion monsters. <laughs> 25 of them or something. Like, no. Yeah. <laughs> All at once. There is no pulling them one at a time. You just gotta God, survive. I want to look at this amulet. Leave me alone. Hold on. Nope. God's nope. Safe. Negative. Nope. Oh, I missed an item down here. It's not allowed. It's all white, okay. Now. Meow. Alright, so... <laughs> meow, then. Increases Max Legion. What? At the end of the... Alright, that's fine. We will leave that one alone, because I've got the one that increases all three, so... We're good. Eat. All right, idiot. <laughs> Dude, the one we got that does all three, was that from one of our conversations? Huh? The amulet that boosts all three stats. Was that from, like, one of our quests or uh, conversation pieces? Or was it, like, a chest that we opened? I think so. To which? Um, I'm sorry. I think it was... I was focused on finding him. I think it was from no, good. a quest, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So then that might be why, even though this is late game, uh, you know, because quests, there are different responses, right? Yep. And we've been lying, which gave us items. But if you do the uh, the alternative ending, Can I open from here? where you don't lie at all, you know, that they, they either give you different items or they don't give you anything in the same way, so. That's what I get for telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, you get a, a much different ending, apparently. Yeah, apparently. Uh, apparently. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, Stargazer. You'll love to see it. Yeah, that's interesting. Right, so. Now the outer wall. Gonna drop down to an area with decay fog and follow the path. Oh, great. Hold on. Uh huh. Is there anything over here? Nope. Okay. Insta death. We're so high up! Alright, so. Hey, a ladder to kick down. Cool. Yep. The, uh. environmental design of this area is very interesting. Yeah. You get the sense of walking around a truly ancient temple. Right. When I think of Abbey, I tend to think of I don't know, something a little less foreign, <laughs> I guess. Interesting. Um, ah. I don't know how to describe it. Like, there's the elements that are on the wall. Um kind of have these um we are talking about like these things yeah they kind yeah. of have like, these older like Mayan or maybe Aztec he mm -hmm. can even kind of influences okay that's the other side of that okay. right and when I think of like an abbey I think of like Catholic churches you know sure so the imagery is very different So it's got some interesting guest position there happening. Uh oh. Get That's... off of me. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. That. Ah, uh, there's that lovely decay fog you were talking about. Uh-huh. Here. Yep, so you're just going to kind of follow the pathway there. Um, we're looking for a chest that will have another weapon in it, but there's also a scorpion beast around it, so just... Uh, cool. Oh, this area is great. In it, in it though? My god, Ooh. back off! <laughs> ah, I anticipated that move wrong. Oof. Oh, 
was a little dicey, but it worked out. Regrow. Regrow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, take that. Just in case I need to retreat back into it, you know. Right, right, of course. Get away oh. from me! <laughs> Ugh! Throw animation where they sprint forward 700 miles and are just as quickly, uh, just as fast as you at a full sprint. <laughs> like, stop it! Alright, so we ascend out of the fog here. And I think we can unlock a thing here, right? Somewhere. Bundle of old letters. We've unlocked a bundle of old letters. Oh boy. <laughs> Dear Valentinus Monad. Ooh. As a result of the last summit, we venerable families have decided to sponsor the Zelator Laboratory construction plan actively. There are still those who oppose, but it won't be too hard to persuade them. The only possible variable is that they won't give any information about the lab. Being careful is a good thing, but we're the ones who provide the funding, so we don't want any uncertainties. We should never just watch. Old families hate being looked down the most. You alchemists know and handle so many things. I had no idea that a place known as the Devil's Pit had so much value. But when a gold mine or a secret is revealed, you can't put the cat back in the bag. Don't worry about the construction workers. We'll take care of it real clean. Uh, don't forget if you look down or try to trick us, it's not only the workers who will disappear. Till next time I see you, I'm looking forward to our beneficial exchange. In the name of the old houses, Wolf. All right, then. Wolf. Wolf. Have we seen that name before? Um, oh. It sounds familiar, but like there's been so many names thrown around, I can't honestly say that I remember. Fair enough. This this shelf is... Alright, looking at it for a second, it immediately gave me the impression of a shelf you would find in, like, an Elder Scrolls game, where you would steal everything off of it, and guards would come yes. barreling at you, like, Hey! You thief! <laughs> you stole this wooden coaster. You're going to jail. I picked it up for a second. Whoops. Where are you? Yeah. There another one? No. Oh boy. Hey guys. Good job. <laughs> I blew myself up. Get, Ooh, disruption. Get, Ooh, we don't want that. Get out of the disruption cloud! <laughs> no! See if I can avoid blowing myself up with explosive barrels. Austin knows I have a long history of exploding myself with these barrels. Yeah, we've talked about it for yeah. before too. Sister Alchemist Odraid. Although she could not be completed, may she be with us. <laughs> Through her noble sacrifice, for God's sake, add one second to those. Jeez. Oh man. Alright. Oh hey. Just mildly miffed, that's all. Books? You can't knock the books over? Literally unplayable. Oh man, no, that just proves that knowledge truly is power. I knew it. Knowledge is power, knowledge. yes. Look, they're invincible <laughs> <Yeah>. books. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's see. Invincible books. Mm -mm -mm. Immune to damage. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, so I think I need to go up those stairs next. Because this has all been dealt with. We read that. Alright, we're good. We're good. Up the stairs. Yep. Up the stairs with you. Mm. Oh, boy. There's going to be more snipers. Oh. Yeah, definitely. No. No. Kaboom. Eh. Okay. Careful, careful. It's the guards. They match you for taking their wooden placard. Wooden placard? Yeah. The... 
what you thought was a coaster was actually a placard. Oh yeah. Naming them employee of the month. Yeah, that, you don't want to be taking their employee of the month pla placard. <laughs> All right, I think that's forward. I think we need to unlock this shortcut over here. Yeah, probably. No! Ah! Ah! Friendo. All right. If not friend, then why friend shaped? Oh wait, <laughs> this one is definitely not friend shaped. Horrifying looking monstrosity shambling at you. Oh hey friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. Ah okay. yes, chaotic neutral people at their finest. Friendo. Everything is friend. Huh. It's like a repeating crossbow. I can't tell. Do I have a? <laughs> Dink. Bye. <laughs> there, there you go. The, the laugh you have. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you're shooting the wall right next to you instead of me. Are you sure you should be smugly laughing? <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's having a good. He's having a good old time. Look at those statues. Ah, these guys. I has an insane amount of disruption build up for being. Uh, anyway, let that go down. I like the characters up here. The, are those similar to like when the bosses are talking, and you see like the little closed caption at the bottom? Yeah, I can see why you would say that. Um, I don't know if that. There's yeah. there's some similarities in the way they look, but no, I would say those are unique to this area. Yeah. Maybe they're more like hieroglyph versions of whatever language they're speaking. Right. Because, like, the reality is, if you're looking carefully enough at the words that they're saying, you can kind of make out some of the words, which means that the, the glyphs have at least similar enough shapes. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like it's just obscure enough that you can't really know for sure what it says. <laughs> but it's also, like, you know defined enough that, that there's some potential interpretation there. Sure. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, there's stuff up there. There sure is. That looks like it might be a drop down. Yeah, from further up, though. Yep. Oh, this... I don't like this at all. <laughs> it's a trap. There's a hole in the... Oh, <laughs> yep, yep, okay. Nah, nah, you can't do that. <laughs> what you think this is? Dark Souls? Oh, there's so, there's so much disruption. Get away from me. Ah. It, it builds up so fast. Do you have, like, something yeah, you I can... Yeah, I do. I just have to get up far enough away. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Should probably actually equip these or something. That's that's what I was going to suggest, yeah. Yeah, hang on. Deal with this guy first. Alright. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There. Now I got him equipped. Perfect. I felt the need to hit something with the shot put, so. <laughs> it's just so funny. You just freaking metal ball and eh, just ow. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of damage too. Yeah, they're pretty good throwing items. All right, so I just give me that. Thank you. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's a good, <laughs> good for this area for sure. Okay. Man, this place is real. Labyrinthine, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Like it, over, it definitely overlaps a lot. First discovery, Camille. All right. She is probably the first puppet with an ego found by the order. Oh, interesting. Before that, Ergo had was seen as just a travel expense for a holy journey of the order. It was God's gift, but they didn't know that it was truth itself. However, God gave us fools the revelation for our enlightenment. It was God's miracle that Camille was made into a made puppet. Despite being in the early phase when the design was rudimentary, Camille caught and saved a baby who fell from a crib. Such function was nowhere to be found in the design. Her appearance and identity in living years were similar, so it was probably easier for her to manifest an ego. 
After hurriedly collecting Camille to launch an investigation, the Order found out that she understands language and got a message. Send me back to my child. By interrogating and taking Camille apart, the Order had opened the door to a new possibility. Later, means of control such as the Grand Covenant emerged, but it was a small problem compared to this discovery. Ergo is not simple power stone, it embraces life. Through Ergo, we can open the door to eternal life. Wake up, evolve, ascend. With this discovery, humankind will achieve immortality. Fascinating. Mm hmm. All right. The lore deepens. Little flyers over here, too. Mm -hmm. Eh. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Fortune favors the bulb. <laughs> First awakened ego. I feel good about that. Yeah, yeah, I found that terminology to be interesting. Right. Alright, so there's that. Let's look in this little room over here. So would I wonder if P is the second one. Well, no, it can't be. We've we've encountered other instances of awakened ego. Yeah. So I wonder how many there are then. I don't know. Yeah. I suppose as the frenzy continued, that became a more prominent. Oh, well, this thing, thing. This thing looks cool. Hold on. Let's check this thing out. You know what this looks like? Something from Code Vein. This looks like a sword from Code Vein. That's right. Uh, yeah, we're holding that's exactly it, what I thought of. Yeah, we're holding it like a great sword. It looks like the, uh, I think it's called the Hanamakuro. I'm going to have to look it up. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying yeah, it right. but a, a little bit, but that the, that one has a little bit more of an axe look. This feels like if you took Lewis's blade and made it bigger. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm saying. The Hanamakuro is, is Louis's blade, except it's the silver version, not the red one. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about... Um, What's his face? Uh, Yakimo. Okay. Yes, Yakimo. Yeah, weapon. Yakimo's is a little different. But yeah, this is this is an interesting looking. I like the sword. This is cool. That's it. Interesting choice for sure. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, acid slash. Okay. Absolute defense. Good advanced weapon, which we're not specced into, so we'll, we'll keep going with our current loadout here. But very cool. Very cool. Right. We could, um, in New Game Plus, try out some advance. It could be interesting. Yeah, I agree. I, uh, this is giving some, like... Look at that. Because we're talking about how they responded to this puppet um, kind of gaining sentience. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't know if you would jump there. I wonder if there's a drop down you can do yeah, a little further over up. Over here, yeah. This looks better. Yeah. That's a good looks call. A little I, was, I was starting to line it up. And, oh, oh. Okay, there's stuff over there. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll do the drop down right here. Anyway, you were saying, oh. oh Ooh, that was close. That was terrifying. Yeah, um, but anyway, so these... It's, it's the question... It becomes the age-old question of the sentience that these puppets are gaining Ooh, worth it does it make them alive mm -hmm. right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's the age it's the age old debate um, from next generation when they debated about the the data sentience yeah the legitimacy of data sentience yeah so you're talking about like how, a measure of a man uh, from yes. season two when uh, you know, the question of his legal status with Starfleet, which, you know, around that time, Starfleet was asserted to not be a military organization with modern Trek. It's a little bit different, but the question remains, 
uh, is he a person? Is he capable of choice? And right. of course, he is constructed. He is built by a man, to use the words from the episode directly. Right. But does he have a soul that, you know, ends up being. And, and you know, soul. Star Trek is, especially in the 90s, strictly materialist. Um, so, you know, that question has some interesting implications. But the idea is do they have that ineffable thing that humans have can they make their own choices do they have free will right hey turn around real quick sure um let me go back on the steps yep um how far oh go keep going keep going keep going all right this drop is this drop down here is this something different from where you were earlier i don't think so i can try it oh uh, yeah no it's not it's not okay it just looked because of the angle, yep, it looked a little bit different, but I can see now what how it lines up. We're good. Yeah, there's a corpse down there too, so we're good. Yep. Yeah, it's yep. it's definitely there's a lot of that happening right now. I'm sort of tracking, but it's this is a confusing little area here. Right. Uh, so so anyway, um, so I feel like that's, that's some of what's happening, and so mm -hmm. we have these people alchemists. I'm just I'm assuming these are all Whoa. alchemists. Oh, that's a problem. Oh my god. Can I kill this? No. Nope. No. No, you just gotta avoid it. It's like a trap. Definitely a trap. Oh, man. That scared the crap out of me. All right. Uh, yeah, that was very startling. <laughs> um. Hello. Yep. Um, so anyway, the uh, this is, that's what's making me think of, is we're starting to ask this question. And so these alchemists come across this first puppet who seems to have gained some form of sentience mm -hmm. and their response is to literally pull it apart <laughs> and figure yeah. out what makes it do that yeah that, that sounds yeah sounds about right so it's a pretty common trope with like AI and stuff like that in general like, it it is and it's ooh it's just it's a tough question to answer like I mean, obviously we're from an outside perspective yes. where we have extra information mm -hmm. about ergo and how it works but like if you if you're in a in, this is not justifying their behavior by any stretch no. but in a position where you've never encountered that before and you have no knowledge about how ergo is in fact the lost souls of humanity essentially being put into these puppets then also begs the question we, is how did that state of affairs come to be but yeah I mean regardless yeah right of course um, oh, I do not you know, like that situation at all yeah personally I would recommend seeing if you can somehow skip him yeah I'm to gonna run to past him yeah I agree with that excuse me yeah. Oh, um, oh, all right. Anyway, it's, again, not ah. not excusing the behavior because there is a type of ethical way to perform scientific experimentation and testing and stuff like that. Right. Um, I mean, but I can understand why there would be a temptation to pull it apart. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, well, and... and Typically, in, in a sci-fi scenario, of course, it's the bad guy that's like, oh, yes, let's pull them apart and figure them out kind of thing. Right, of course. How do I get over there? You gotta do that fancy, fancy drop-down. There's a pole that you're standing right in front of. Oh, this. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then I can get back <laughs> up that ladder. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's always an interesting question talking about AI, too, mm -hmm. in general. Yeah. Because, like, how much of it really is the, the quote-unquote programming? Because there's some really adaptive programming out there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, one of the things that is stated uh, in, in Measure of a Man, once again, is humans are also programmed by their DNA. 
um, right. you know, or whatever your opinion on that. If, if there is a first spark of sorts, a god, or... Ooh, that was close. Yeah, it was. I almost freaking fell off there. All right, cool. I'm gonna head back up after taking fall damage, apparently. Cool. Um, but regardless, like, what is the distinction between us right. as, you know... And it begs a lot of different questions. Um, one of the things that the judge advocate is saying in that that episode is that they don't know that they even have a soul, either. Um, right. It's unclear. Uh, and so, you know, how do you rule on such a thing? Because it's a legality, but it's also it's a philosophical question, really. Um, and it's it's one of the best episodes of Star Trek ever created for a reason. Um, it's also yeah. one of my bigger arguments for when people say early next generation is not very good. Like, that's season two, man. Like, that's some good stuff. Um, now, granted, yeah. some of the early stuff is just like, oh, what were they thinking with this episode? So I'm not saying right. it's all perfect, but there's some great stuff in the early early seasons of that show, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, some of my favorite episodes of All-Star Trek are from TNG. Oh, yeah. And TNG is not even my favorite series. <laughs> <laughs> so, your favorite Star Trek uh, series? Yeah, I don't remember which one's your favorite. Uh, it vacillates between Voyager and Deep Space Nine, but I think Nine wins out a little bit. Yeah, that's my favorite. DS Nine's my favorite. I love PNG. I love Voyager. I'll always be a '90s Star Trek fan. It's a, it's a good comfort show. For sure. Oh yeah, absolutely it is. Uh, but I also just like that era because it like really creates these thought-provoking environments. Yeah. There's a lot of heady stuff that happens, uh, and it's it's definitely... Star Trek in the modern era is very different. Yeah. Uh, 350 frame. Yeah, I don't think it's... I don't think they're free of trying to create these um, mm, thought-provoking topics. I just think it's presented in a different way. Oh, it's yeah. It's kind of harder to wrap your head around what they're trying to get at well it's also more actiony uh there's there's a right. difference in in style and tone that necessarily informs the content of it um right. so one might be correct in observing that the next generation is a little bit of a dry uh show tonally speaking i don't necessarily fully agree with that but i can see that perspective because right it's a lot of discussion it's a lot of philosophical not necessarily pontificating but discussions you know yeah of course uh, whereas a lot more just fire torpedoes in, in modern Star Trek you know right action heroes versus uh, science versus scientific explorers yeah I mean if any Trek fans 90s Trek fans are, are listening to this I'll probably get roasted for this but I do think early discovery uh, struck a good balance of being kind of actiony and having some philosophical questions involved. Um, and Strange New Worlds is, is in many ways the modern equivalent of the next generation as well, which will be is a less controversial take, I suppose. Yeah, I, I think they've done well with that. Oh, God. this is oh, that's awful. <laughs> not, you are not my friend, sir. I can't be your friend, la. <laughs> I do not like that narrow bridge with Mr. Disruption Jerkface. Alright, let's investigate this area for a second before I start doing anything like that. So we came from here, I think. And then there's a... This side. Oh! I saw you! Yeah. Cool. yeah, be careful around this room. There's lots of stuff going on. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> well, then. That was unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was really... Oh, no. It was really funny, but it was very unfortunate. Yeah. At least we got this ladder kicked down. Sure. <laughs> I really wish I could get that ergo back without leaving the stargazer since we respawned everyone anyway 
Yeah. All right, so... But thankfully, you don't have to go back that way because you already cleared that area, so... Yep. Yeah, this is not too bad. But, yeah. I think sentience in the context of Lies of P, though, is very interesting because it's... There's, there's definitely a metaphysical essence to a person in, right. in this world. Um, and it's important to consider when talking about, like, do these things have a soul? Like, I'd be much more confident in this world saying that a doll has a soul than in our world, for instance. But I do think I would come down the same way, depending on, you know, what is meant by any of it. Um, right. You know, well, it's, that's it a seems... very, very heavily qualified statement, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Grain of salt, too. Yes, absolutely. But um, I think, especially with Liza P's world, right, there's evidence that it's not just a soul that's inhabiting the puppet, mm -hmm. but it's one that still has the memories of its life. Uh, yeah, former life, yeah. Right. So, like, there, that creates kind of a different environment when you start talking about something that has actual memories. There's something going to shoot at you, by the way. Be careful. Yep. I saw him lurking in the archway. All right. So does this go? Okay. There's a box over there. Oh, maybe I didn't see it and just thought I did. Huh. Ooh. Yeah, I knew, the, knew that was a trap. Good grief. There's a lot of Some, dead people here. Somebody was... Who hurt you, designer of this little area here? <laughs> I know, right? Like, why? It was so much? Do I have to, like, jump across to get to that? Mm, I doubt it. I'm sure there's, a like, a pathway up. Yeah. All right. Give it a shot. Let's see. So You don't have that floaty Dark Souls jump here. <laughs> Specifically Dark Souls 2. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 is very floaty jump. The anti-gravity jump. Elden Ring's ridiculously long jump. <laughs> yeah, on the on the, oh my gosh why is my brain blinking out oh boy oh boy oh boy great <laughs> it's your favorite guy <laughs> what the Bane Jr alright man oh hey there's a trinity door alright great Oh, that was weird. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. All right then. BRB That's making a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's still not as egregious as it could be. Oh yeah. That's a pretty good boxing stance there. Ah. It is. Ooh, good job. Nice. Hey, you struggled with him less than you did previously. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh... That guy was pretty rough before. Yeah. Chosen One's Trinity Key. Yep. Oh, this place is messed up. Sure is. End of riddles. Discover all Trinity Sanctums. Hey, friendo. Nice. face-to-face -face meeting, isn't it? <laughs> and I hope you weren't too attached to the rhyming. It gets to be a chore without the transmitter to help. Welcome to my sanctum of riddles. Mm -hmm. I admit I did not really expect you to make this journey in person. Oh, the havoc you must have wreaked along the way. Was there much blood other than what's all over you? <laughs> I know all about those alchemist cowards. 
Hiding away on their island, growing more monstrous by the day, refusing to acknowledge either fact that they are hiding or that they are monsters. And how about you? Is this the real you? Or are you still practicing the liar's mm. art as only you can? <laughs> you must answer. <laughs> the question is simple. But I repeat, you must Ooh. answer. Important question. And that answer will show what or who <laughs> you are. Who you have decided to be. Now listen closely and heed the king's speech, or the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Are you a puppet? Mm. Or a human being? Which one are you? I'm gonna go with human. Human. human mm -hmm. <laughs> we may be trapped by ergo but we live we think we love we hate <laughs> they have locked us in the prison they call puppetry I this is really this interesting truth long yeah it long is ago. that is why i've been exacting my revenge against them all ever since Blood and revenge, revenge and blood, it's the only thing that truly drives me. <laughs> and it was so much fun. <laughs> even if you're lying right now, even if you don't believe your own answer, the truth is clear. Proof is evident. Only humans practice deception so intensely for reasons that are so unnecessary. <laughs> well, these moments of clarity are enjoyable. <laughs> now the rhyming, it helps me maintain focus. At least it helps me hide the urge to kill that I feel every waking moment. <laughs> But no play can go on forever. No. It was fun while it lasted, son of Geppetto. The king of riddles shall now retire. Okay. Ooh. So you can actually talk to him mm -hmm. and get a couple of different answers out of him. Okay. So we've, we should have at least three options to talk to him. Okay. Well, let's do that. The play is over. You don't have to go home or straight to hell. <laughs> well, that would be my choice. <laughs> but you can't stay here. Not if you want to live. <laughs> Talk. Hmm. About how he called. Mm -hmm. Aren't you curious? Huh? Don't you want to know? How? Oh. <laughs> Of course you do. Delicious. <laughs> time is all I have left. But your time is limited, Geppetto boy. I will gladly waste every moment you have if you like. It's your life. So, come on. Now or never. This tower is absorbing all the ergo and crot. It was built in this precise location because it's the most efficient place in the world to study and use ergo wavelengths. Hmm. But it's not even about me or you either. This is about the goddess in the tower. Now she, who is worth saving. Her powers are impossible. Her knowledge is endless. She is more... Well... Awakened... Than any of us. 
referring to Sophia, I assume. Yeah, that's what I'm suspecting here. It's not like she'll miss just a little. So, I've simply been sharing. Oh, interesting. Well, I was bored. Is there any more human motivation in all the world? Fascinating. What if I made a puppet of a human the way they made humans of puppets? What could possibly be more fun? More suitable? <laughs> Ooh. How sadistic this person is. <laughs> mm -hmm. So essentially, he was he saying that he was using uh, Sophia's power to kind of make the calls for the riddles, basically? Because it looks like he's connected so. as well. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, that was his way of being able to transmit over great distances. Okay. Let's see. Whether he is a serial killer. Interesting. Thanks to him and his surprisingly low pain threshold, I learned the location of their secret island. <laughs> Humanity sullied its own sanctum long before I found it, blasphemed against itself, against us, by playing God. But I'm an artist. Murderer <laughs> is a word the humans use to restrain us, to make us refuse our strength and power. <laughs> I'm an artist. An artist of blood. I have to oh, admit, nice. selling that particular sanctum was well. <laughs> Fun. Even now. The memory is enough to make me shudder with something approaching joy. If only I could relive that triumph. <laughs> mm -hmm. the there is a third option. Okay. Ooh, Vanini incident. Vanini? Yeah. Beautiful fool, but a fool nonetheless. A mere slip of a boy when I met him, huh? And did he ever thank me for making him an orphan with my bare hands? Like for giving him everything he has on a silver platter by removing the dead weight holding him back. Huh. Of course I'm not sorry, it was a delectable murder. Of the many, many I have committed since, the Beninis, they have to be my personal favorites. They engineered the very first automated puppets. Enslaved puppets without even understanding what they've done. I didn't go there to take revenge for what his parents did. I mainly just wanted to slaughter them because they were so damned happy. Wow, he's got a major problem. Oh, yep. What a great memory. In their last moments, they begged me not to kill their child. <sighs> so I didn't. I'm not a machine. I have free will. I made a choice in the heat of the moment. And it was a choice driven by that most human of emotions. Curiosity. If the child mm -hmm. survived, would he be traumatized for life? Become a coward, a vengeful puppet hating bigot, a despairing wretch? Would he fling himself into the sea? 
couldn't remember. The devil that orphaned him before his eyes was... a puppet. Would he remember... Arlecchino? Not surprisingly, the alchemists and people of the workshop were as artless as I expected. Concealing the truth! <sighs> Thanks to them, I get to see Manini endure twice as much pain. <sighs> I cannot control myself. <laughs> It's so satisfying. Benini is one of my greatest accomplishments. Perhaps even my masterpiece. Mm. <laughs> I suppose I can return this. <clears throat> I've held on to my little souvenir for quite some time. Tell him it's a little something. To remember me by. Fascinating. Moon World Warrior toy. The play yeah. is Anything old. else from him? I can attack him. Yes. Do it. Okay. Strike him down with all of your hatreds, and then your journey to the dark side will be complete. I will do it. I want to see the alchemist cape. That's <laughs> Kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna wear this. For, I like the long coats, but this one's pretty cool. I like this one. Yeah. The play. It's crisp. Yeah. The play is. Attack. Okay, I guess I have to actually. Yep. Bye bye now. Thank you. Bye bye. Goodbye now. Thank you. Goodbye. Anything else in here? Nope. There's not like an extra weapon in here or anything. It's just just him. Just him. All right. Yep. Oh, that was a lot of information. Holy crap. It it really was. It was a lot lots of information. Shit. Okay, so there are two lifts in this area. Mm -hmm. Um obviously we'll we can keep exploring and see if we can find ways to those other items. Um obviously Obviously. Let's see. Ronald Weasley. How do I? Um. Good question. I don't know. Who's that lift? Yep. Yeah, so one goes down. Mm hmm. Or we can talk to a test subject and get the happy emote. Oh boy. And the other one? Goes up. Up. We will want to make sure we have some gold fruit with us when we do. I really want to know how to get to that. We got it. We got to get across and then probably drop down. Do we have to like respawn this wooden plank that broke? Hmm. I no, I don't know. That there's a way to do that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. Hang on a sec. Let me check something. Okay, there's that over there's there. There's just that item too. Yeah. There's also a door over there. Yeah. That might be where the lift goes up to, actually. Yeah, I, I suspect that's that's the way to do that. I still it still isn't hundred percent clear to me how to get to that chest. It might be on the way up with the lift. Yeah, maybe. So do we need to go down first? That's the recommendation, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Do. I'm assuming this one goes down over here. Possibly. Okay, these. Let's try. Down. All right, good call. Good, good, good. We long way down. All right, got some more lore drops here. Oh, hey, possibly. Hey, friendo. I I'm not going back. 
I am sick of consuming ergo. Mm. It's cruel. There's real meals and real songs out there. I'm not just a memory reading tool. What? Memory reading tool. You're not the inspector? But if you're from the outside, that means we can leave. Hmm. Thanks. I know the way out, so don't worry about me. Maybe I'll see you on the outside. Oh, okay. Anything else? I can read uh, talk to him again. Ergo. That's what I was made for. Hmm. Ergo <clears throat> is crystallized time and memory. But God, I hate having to consume Ergo to read it. Why does it work like that? It's the worst. I can read memories, but I can't even dream of tastes, smells, or songs. I can't stand it anymore, so I'm escaping. When I get out, I'm going straight to Rosa Isabel Street. Hmm. It's like they tried to create their own version of a listener. Yeah. I can read memories of Ergo. Ergo is... It's the... I can't... Okay. Uh, yeah, open the big door. I think this is like a shortcut back to the entrance. Gotta use the alchemist badge. Look at me, I'm such an alchemist. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. So now, yeah, now I can go back up the ladder. Or land the ladder. A lift. The lift. Elevator. Arise, OP. Yeah. All the way back up. Trinity Sanctum, we talked to Arachino. So now we got so, yeah. this lift. Yes. Uh, hmm? I mean, you, you've got gold fruit that you can spare, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely, I do. Okay. Ha! There you go. Oh, yeah, and then you can drop down there and get the chest. Perfect. Uh, that's what I thought. All right, cool. Weapon? Legion caliber. Cool, cool. Uh. <laughs> Every other fall from there has been no damage. Yep. I don't understand. Not understand. Now we gotta take it back up. Excuse me. Yep. All right. So we're going to go all the way up. We're going to speak to an NPC who will need a gold coin fruit. Yep. And then we will continue to ride the lift to the next stargazer. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. I guess it's not right after the lift, I apologize. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, yeah. That was wrong. Okay, bye. Alright, it's a cool button. Yeah. It's a big boy. That's not good. Oh, he's coming for you. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, man. I did not expect one of those guys. I didn't either, to be honest. <laughs> that was a really messy fight, but it worked out. It did. Aha! Oh, yeah. There's your little ladder shortcut that we saw earlier. Yeah! Awesome. Yeah. Those are always good. That, uh, hold on. Let me just look. I need to put eyes on it. 
Yeah. Do you? Okay. Yep. 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 I know where I am. It was right in front of that. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yoink. All these little dolls. There are a lot of them. There are a lot of them. Kind of uncanny amount of them. Ooh, this is a big room. Yes, it is. Holy crap. Hey, friendo. Is that you? Yeah. Wow. You're really something. Seriously, that's impressive. How did you follow me all the way here? I'm just that good. Fighting is always my last choice, you know? But you're not getting anywhere near my sister, friend. You'll have to go through me first. And I actually thought we were friends. Was any of that true? Uh. In the end, I really don't care. There's only one reason we were given a mission. I'll let you go if you give me gold coin fruit. Okay, so we are giving that to him. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Aha. I had a feeling we might eventually see eye to eye. I like you. Don't trust you yet, but I'm a cat. I'm slow to trust. <laughs> I still love the fact that he's using like a, a part of a of signpost. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of Krat. Sick to death of just surviving. Hurting, stealing, kidnapping. Surviving. When the hell does it end? That's reasonable. My sister and I are going to leave for a different city. Get my eyesight back. A fresh new start as a family. Mm. You have to know that old man, Gepetto, is safe. We were never going to hurt him. So please, just let my sister go. Hmm. Ultimately, we, we want the same thing. Fascinating. Got a black cat's mask. It's been cooler, I feel, if it had taken the, the mask off of him. So you can see what his character model actually looked like. Yeah, agreed. All right. Anything else, buddy? And you have to know that old man, Geppetto, ultimately. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, so we're going to ride the lift. I'm assuming if you don't give him the gold coin fruit, you have to fight him. Yeah, I, I assume he attacks you if you refuse to hand over a gold coin fruit or don't have one. Yeah. And nothing yep. in this so room. There should... Okay. Yeah, there's another lift for their long. There we go. Looks like an arena. Yeah. This place is gigantic. Yeah, it really is. So much stuff. This, this is why I was like, this is at least two episodes worth of stuff to go through. Yeah, there's a lot here. That's for sure. Where's that ladder go? That's a good question. I just saw it after. Hold on. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> Screw this elevator. There, I don't there's an it. item. <laughs> yeah. Had I not picked up that item, I would um, lose totally the entire game it. forever. Yeah, exactly. That was like the most OP item you ever could have gotten. Uh-huh. Totally worth waiting for the elevator again. Through that barrel. All right. But just that one. That one in particular. You will never defeat me. I am the ultimate samurai. All right, let's go. Yeah. This actually reminds me of when we were playing Remnant, right. and I think you got clipped by an elevator just barely. And it like. Oh yeah, I got crushed. You. I died instantly because <laughs> it like barely <laughs> clipped my character model. It was so funny. It, like brushed your ankle or something and you were just like oh! my big toenail I'm dead <laughs> what say what now I mean in all fairness it was my big toenail I'll probably at least pass out <laughs> the very Good tip deal. it clipped my big toenail barely that's right I need to level up here. all right so we actually have a couple things we can do right now mm-hmm if uh, if you want to take a brief pause from the Abbey. Sure. All right, so let's go to the Barren Swamp then. Hang on one second. Let me use some of these.
trying to get back under the slightly heavy. Sure. There we go. I think it's still, when I switch weapons, it's still gonna... Nope, nope, we're good. All right, Baron Swamp, you said? Yeah. I do have upgrade materials as well. Yeah, well, we'll go to Hotel Krat right after this. We're just gonna teach the puppet happiness. Happiness! Hey, friendo. Hello, my only friend. friend. What did you come to tell me? Each about happiness. It feels good. Like being hugged by the sun. <laughs> it is a oh, man. Ah, uh, I just remembered. Mm -hmm. Like the start of spring. Thanks. Sure. There we go. Nope. I just remembered we are men of the sea. Yes. Indeed. Wait, no, talk to him again. Oh. Go talk to okay, him again real okay, quick. Okay. I Sorry. Ooh, hey. I've learned something about humans. If I make human friends someday, I'll tell you. Oh, all right, you man. will always be my only friend, but you'll always be my first friend. Thanks, buddy. A quartz. If I make humans, they may not. Okay. Good to go now. We're going back to Hotel Crap. Yes. Great. <laughs> Great. Let's -a go. Bet you can't guess what we're doing there. We're going to talk to a guy. Yeah. Who do you think we'll talk to? I don't know. Vanini. That makes sense. We're going to talk to Linguini Vanini. Hey, buddy. We got some stuff to tell you. The toy. But how? The toy my parents made me. You've met him. Arlecchino. We had just watched one of my favorite films, I remember. I begged them to make me the warrior from it. If I had... Would my parents still be alive? Would we have been untouched by that murderous puppet? I've always blamed myself. <laughs> it's a hell of a burden for a child, that kind of guilt. So I hung on. I hung on to the Grand Covenant. I wanted to use it to keep people safe. You know, in many ways, I envy you. Your strength. Thank you for this. Talk about closure. Mm hmm. The last story of Vanini, the story of the prince. I always there you welcome. Go. Cool. Go ahead and do an upgrade here. So. You are here. That's a relief. Oh, yeah. Okay. Upgrade. So we do have enough to finish up the scythe. Uh, we can also throw one of these on the big sword instead. Kind of keep it up to par with where the scythe is. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to do that. Unless you have an objection. Um, I'm thinking this is going to be more beneficial because this has been a pretty good weapon too. <laughs> Listen, even if I had an objection, I have no right to say anything since I've just been the spectator this entire game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we have anything else we need to do here? Uh, yes. Go talk to Puccinella. No matter That's what, Paul. indeed. Serving her. Welcome to. I was gonna check the shop real quick. Okay, nothing else. I want. I want more full moon stones. All right, we'll get more. I'm sure. Hey. At the house of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. Uh, appraisal? Well, this says talk to him. Hmm. Mm, doesn't appear to be anything to that. 
Okay, well then I guess there's nothing there. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. He was supposed to give you like a resplendent ergo chop, but uh I have no no other notes aside from talk to him, so might I have a moment? There it is. There we go. Ah, good. I was a bit concerned my voice wouldn't even reach you. It has been so very long since I spoke out of turn. You see, I too have been awakened. I have an ego, as Master Benini would say. And I have been this way for some time. At least since Master Lorenzini was a child. He wow. had no one else, you see. His parents. I'm sure you've heard of their terrible fate. And he had to see it all. But Master Lorenzini is stronger than most people suspect. A puppet was the killer. We both knew it. But if we had told the authorities, they might have removed me from the household as well. Hmm. The young master would have been alone if I had been taken away. If only I could have saved them. Now I atone for that failure by thinking only of Master Vanini's prosperity and happiness. But even I did not realize how deeply he still held that trauma. How badly that murderous puppet had scarred his soul. You have set him free. I cannot thank you enough. You're very welcome. I'm not accustomed to sharing such thoughts or feelings. But when it involves Master Vanini, please accept this gift as it truly comes from the heart. My own. We will always roll out the red carpet for you. At the house of Vanini. Hmm. Hmm. It's nice. So resplendent. All right. What's next? Back to the Abbey. All right. I'm gonna check out these quartz that we got real quick first. That's a good plan. And then we will head back to the Abbey. Let's see what we want to level up next. gonna level up your face yeah let's see staggerable window it's nice I do kind of like that a certain amount of guard regain can get another cube use honestly I'm more inclined to go with the guard regain yeah I was gonna suggest that as well just because you don't use the cubes a whole lot yeah I mean they're not bad but let's see here it's Fable Catalyst. Max Gold Coin Fruit. That one's nice. Weapon Durability Recovery Speed. It's nice. Um, sure. Sure. That goes with this skill. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Enhances Stagger Attack. That's nice. Staggered Duration. Ooh, I really like Duration. Let's do duration. Like, really, if you're on it, that really shouldn't be necessary, but sometimes I've definitely missed it, so... I think it's worth it. Yeah, I agree. Back to the Abbey. To the Abbey! Broken Rift. How far through this place do you estimate we are? Hmm. Oh. Um, oh, I don't like that at all. I would say probably a little under halfway. Okay. Or maybe right about. Okay. You got this, friend. 
maybe. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Yeah, not what I meant it there. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> there we Ding. go. Those guys are gross. Mm hmm. They're so disgusting. Hey, there's an item. Oh, oh. Whoop. Whoops. Whoops a daisy. Whoops. Whoops a doodle. <laughs> that goes somewhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's shenaniganry over there, it looks like. Let's, yeah. let's look at this. Wow. Oh, excellent. Oh, no. Yeah. Right back at you. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Another one. I love when your sword just goes right through the the body. Yeah, it's kind of great. Yeah, those little guys are very dangerous. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, hey, friend. All right, well, since we're meandering around here, I'm actually looking for a ladder to the second level. Okay. I'm thinking maybe this is like a little dungeon area. There's going to be, yeah, anybody. I don't know that for sure, but my read on this area is, oh, hey, there's a ladder there. Um, is that there, this is kind of a side area, but we'll see. Yeah. It's like a freaking. Back off, a lot of you. That was satisfying. Yeah, that was that was good. I love when their weapons break. It's so satisfying. <sighs> yeah, for sure. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so let's see. Yeah, looking for a ladder up to the second level. Yep. There's a jester puppet up there, so don't panic. <laughs> I'll panic. Ah. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't panic. Okay, I'll try. Better. Is that... <laughs> okay, now this made like a little bit of a circle, it looks like. Yeah, all right. Cool. Oh boy. Those are the best. Around. Oh, what's gonna ever take you down? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, okay. So this is a little more linear than it appeared. I think. It seems like it. This game does that a lot. 
I've noticed. Like it, there's yep. some complex areas, but a lot of it just ends up kind of linear, which is actually a thing I really like. Yep. There's definitely lots of places to explore, but there's still a somewhat obvious, straightforward, like pathway. Yep. Ooh. All right. All right. My my random strong attacks. What? Listen here, oh, you those fool. guys suck. Yeah, I hate these things so much. They are obnoxious. Okay, that's behind that one. Okay. There we go. Ladder. Hey, we found it. This is a pretty good ladder. Seems like it's all right. It's an okay ladder. We're going to have to play Bloodborne on the channel at some point in order to uh, demonstrate to the viewers what the best ladder is. Oh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, there's a shortcut ladder back. There. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I like that. All right, good. Um, and then we're also going to open a chest, hopefully. Should be like right up here, I guess. Then somewhere, somewhere there's there's about. Oh, weird. Ooh. These are clothed versions of these animals. Yeah. Oh. There was a lot of decay build up too. Grief. Hmm. How dare you spoil my backstep? Oh my god! Oh, hey, there's the jester. Found him. Great. <laughs> Um, you did do better with him with the sword last time. I don't know if it'll be any different this time around or not. Hmm, that's not good. Let's, uh, not end up in the corner there. No! You can jump at me again? Yeah. Forgot he could do that. Man, that move has somehow miraculously avoided being hit by big moves at least four or five times. Yep. It's it's one of my favorite moves in this game. I really like it. Okay, so we got steps. Switch. Yep. Pull the lever to open the gate. So we haven't found the chest yet. Could it be? I mean, I'll open it. But... Yeah. Open the gate. Do do do. Andy. Okay. Top that up. Getting low on healing items. Yep. So, it's the Jester. Further along somewhere, I suppose. There it is. Oh, this guy. How delightful. Great. Oh, man. 
I object to him flailing his tentacles everywhere at the instant he gets broken. All right. <laughs> Formal <laughs> objection. Uh, the jury has heard your Mechanical objection and doesn't care. That sounds right. <laughs> okay, this is a dead end. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Sure is. We go back and go up that. All right. Yep. So we can go beyond the gate. Um, we can go even further beyond. We can, because we got faith of the heart. Yeah. Was the. Uh, no one's going to bend or break me. Okay. All right. <laughs> I won't subject our viewers to what I want to do right now, which is seeing that entire song. All right. Where is this gate, anyways? Back down here? A little turn around here. <laughs> yeah. Over here? Perhaps. This is a pretty big. No, that's that. It's a pretty big fight coming through the gate, though, so you may want to... This place is so confusing. Yeah. Um, but if you can get to a stargazer, you, you might want to rest up and restock. Okay. Okay, so what's that? This... Okay. That's the way forward. That's the gate you opened, yeah. So is it, like, right around this corner or something? Well, I mean, I don't know exactly where it's at. I just know roughly what's coming up. Eh. All right. Let's take a look. Oh. Oh, no. It's the demon baby. Oh, no. It's the demon baby. It's your favorite enemy. He just wants a hug, Dan. Go directly to hell is what he can do. <laughs> Get away from me. No hugs? Ugh. Hatred. All right. Oh, but he's just a little guy. Ugh. Where'd he go? He's just a little guy. He doesn't know any better. Is that the big fight you were talking about? Yeah. <laughs> One of them. Where is the nearest stargazer? Man, I don't know. I'm like I'm trying to keep track of where you're going, but I'm pretty turned around. There's so it is many not easy to follow. Freaking enemies between. All right. I don't think I think the fog doesn't help. Yeah. That okay. Weird looking. Ah. I heard that and was like, okay, okay, that's not terrible. It's not okay. great, but it's not terrible. Right. Yeah, there was no way I was going to be able to deal with that. Yeah, that's oh, fair. He respawned. That's delightful. Uh, Can I go down uh, here? Nope. Gotta go the other way, bro, huh? Determine how many of these I can avoid. Oh, piece, piece of garbage! Ah. Yeah, it's it's inevitable. I gotta fight at least a few of these. Well, yeah, can't go into a fight fresh. Are you crazy? Uh huh. You gotta have at least seven different warm ups. What even happened there? That was weird. Yeah, I'm not sure. That was weird. Hmm. Nice. Alright, good. What? Wow. 
ripping through mm. all these enemies. All right, so. Yep. Got this, Danier. These guys aren't too bad. It's those. Yeah, really well, that was effective. I gotta have at least some chip damage on me before dealing with this moron around here. Alright, so let's do... Yeah, the thing with lightning is a good idea. Not bad. What is he, a Dark Souls player? Yeah. Oh. Come on. Oh my gosh. If there were destructible environments, that would have punched a hole in the wall. Honestly, it would have been cooler if it did. As much as it might have annoyed you. Uh. No. He just wants a hug. He said, love me, daddy, love me. Die, you jerk. There we go. Alright, got a quartz. That's good. Yeah. I hate those things so much. Rage. Let's see. It fills me with such fury. Crystallized rage. Where? <laughs> Crystallized rage. Where is? Oh, okay, there it is. Don't fall off. I did not fall off. Fortunately. I have no idea where, for whatever, where I am. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say for whatever reason I reason I read the balance cog or Crank. Crank. Yeah. Oh man. I misread it as a Bahamut crank. Oh, oh my god. What is it? Which is like nowhere near correct. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna blame the sleep deprivation. You know what? That's fair. Oh, robbed. Yep. Leave it to that particular enemy type to do that, though. Yeah, that's fair. Not that time. Yeah. It's got a pretty big AoE, actually. Nice. Yeah, knock him down, and you're in pretty good shape if you can chain him long enough, but those guys hit really hard. Yeah, it looks like it. Meanwhile, jeez, it could explode everywhere in gross chunks. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's so gnarly. Let's see. I'll just jump up there. Oh. Up. This is definitely an epic final dungeon. That's for sure. Good grief. Yeah, it's huge. This place is gigantic. Mm -hmm. It's like at least twice as big, if not more, than the second largest dungeon, which I'm not even sure what that would be, but it is just enormous. All right. I like that music, too. Okay, this looks like a... A, uh, take care of your opportunities as soon as you can. What's that? 
He said this looks like a, uh, and then left it blank, and I was like, oh, like a place to take opportunities of <laughs> killing enemies as fast as you yeah, can. Yeah, pretty much. It looked like a side path is where I was trying to go with that. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like it. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to knock that down first. That's a smart idea. No. Okay. I hear it. Yep. There it is. <laughs> Crutch. Can we stop doing that in these games, please? <laughs> no. No, we can't. God. Now the question is, how do I get to whatever that ladder was? Is it that right there? I think it is. Yeah, I believe so. All right, that's good then. I'll take it. Yeah. Now, we are pretty late in the episode. I don't know if you want to take a break here. Or you want to keep pushing forward? Uh, I think, yeah, I think we're good here. Let me just... All right, so... Yeah, so then we go up. I gotta go around here. I just want to orient myself real quick, but I think we're... we're we probably need to pick this up later, because I imagine there's quite a bit past this, so... Oh, yeah. There is still quite a bit uh, to go. So we'll call this uh, a good break here. I will go ahead and uh, we are full on our gold coin fruit, so I'll go grab that and grab a level here. But yeah, I think we can close this episode out. A lot of cool revelations here, though, for sure. For sure, yeah. It's kind of interesting, too, because I feel like if we hadn't been able to answer all the King of Riddles riddles, we would be much more in the dark about some things. Yeah. He explained a lot of stuff there. It was kind of cool. He really did. Yeah, one thing we didn't check was if the nose on the painting is any longer right now as well. So I'll, I'll take a look at that too. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think it's any longer than last time at least. Probably not, but I'll take a look at it regardless. Yeah. Grab eight of them here because it's full right now. I think that's the first time I've allowed it to become full since it started, since we found the tree, I guess. Right. So aside from the first one, technically. Hold on, we gotta pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. Pet, pet Ooh. the kitty, kitty. <gasps> you can pick him up! Hey, kitty. He's so cute. Oh, look, it's squinting. Oh, let me bounce the kitty. I want to pet him. We'll play. Oh, that was totally worth doing. Oh, getting the paw <laughs> clean. I love the kitty. Yes. Yes, good. I I like that um, it's been a gradual increase of what you can do with the cat. Yep. Just becoming more and more human. All right. Yeah, I think um, I think we're good to wrap up now here. Yeah. Okay. I got another quartz. I'll just spin that real quick. Good idea. Grab one more ability here, but yeah, a lot of good revelations. I think the stuff about Vanini was very, very interesting. Um, and we finally met Arlecchino. Yes, the king of riddles, who's also a serial killer and a puppet. It's like a, a puppet serial killer. He's the puppet version of like a combination of the Riddler and the Joker or something. Like, yeah, I suppose. You know, like that's oversimplifying the character a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, though. I understand. Yep. All right. Well, while you're doing that, thank you so much for being with us here today, guys. And la. And lasses, lads and lasses. Yes, indeed. Gentlemen and gentle women. And non gentle people as well, I suppose. You don't have to be gentle. Depends on what you like. Anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you so much for being with us here today. We we're so glad to have you. Uh, if you did enjoy what you were watching, please like, subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz. It really helps us grow uh, as a. As a channel mm -hmm. and we want to be able to continue to create content for you guys so as we grow that gives us more opportunity it's uh you know everybody wins 
That's right. And uh, so, yeah, we we also want to hear from you. You know, so if there's something you find interesting about what we've been discussing, throw it in the comments. Whether it's about this game or something else entirely different. Maybe you want to talk about your favorite type of linen to wear or something. I don't, I don't know. I usually pick food, so I try to pick something else. Favorite article of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Whatever, you know, whatever suits <laughs> the you. The point is, we would interact. like to hear from you. Yes. <laughs> I'm very tired, okay? Give me a break. It's okay. <laughs> um, well, we're we're going to yeah, let no, Austin we... sleep now. <laughs> you hear snoring in the background. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, seriously. We just we love having interactions. You know, we, we've been getting some really good comments on like Xeno Gears, and we'd love to have that interaction in other places as well, mm -hmm. where it's warranted, obviously. So, you know, feel free to leave a comment. And, uh, yeah, if you are like, I don't want to wait for the next episode, we've got plenty of other series out there that are complete playlists, full games that you can watch through to your heart's content, several hours worth, that by the time you're through it all, you'll, you'll have definitely gotten more Lies of P episodes, which at this point, we're thinking maybe one more will probably get us through mm -hmm. it. And then potentially uh, 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 another episode for covering possibly uh, the, the translation of the puppets dialogue, maybe the second ending that we don't grab. Yep. Anything kind of, so, you know, if you're interested in any of that, please let us know about that as well, which of course, by the time that comes out, you guys will have not seen it yet. Probably at the speed of which we record anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we, we may um, we may have an extra episode if it if it falls in line with our recording schedule here. Um, if you do get to the finale and that is not what's coming next, then I do think we'll probably circle back to it at a certain point. Uh, we're still kind of in the planning stage of, of what we want to do there, but I think it would be a really cool bonus sure. episode at least for this for this game, and it would be an excuse for me to play New Game Plus, which I would be very excited to do. So there you go. Right. Well, um, you don't need that excuse, Dan. You can just play it, and we can talk about it even if we don't share it. <laughs> well, thank you. I mean, for the channel, but yeah, yeah. We, I, I definitely think I'm going to play New Game Plus regardless. So, at a certain point, right. there will be more content. But yeah, we seem to be closing in on the end of this game. I'm very curious how this is going to turn out. So, uh, tune in yeah. next time for possibly the finale of Liza P. Yeah. But in the meantime, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for letting us be a part of your day. We do hope it's a really good one, and we will see you all in the next video. See you next time. Bye bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.